So it's been one year since the first COVID-19 case was reported in Michigan. Wow, what a, what a year it's been. Share this video out, please. Hit the share button, everyone. And if you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. I am someone who is all about keeping it real, being unbiased, giving you all the news, and going after people, being investigative. Okay, that's why you need to follow my page. But let me talk about the last year. What has the last year done for all of you? And I wanna stop right now and offer my prayers to all of you who have lost loved ones with COVID-19 and from COVID-19 and from the complications from COVID-19. And also those of you who have lost loved ones due to suicide because of COVID-19. Those of you who have you know, suffered or lost your job or just been stressed on a daily basis. Those of you who have lost a year of education, a year of friendship, family because of COVID-19. COVID-19 came from China into the United States, experts say, and it's not gone and it's never going to be gone. COVID-19, doctors say, will never, ever go away. Now the pandemic could go away, which I'm hoping very soon. I'm looking forward to the day I can go everywhere without a mask. I'm looking forward to throwing my mask away in the trash can. So when the pandemic is over, life can be normal. I do want normal. Normal does exist. One year ago today, I was at work when the governor announced our first case of COVID-19. We knew at that time things were about to get crazy. We had no idea that our lives were about to change. Some of you did, but we had no idea how crazy it was going to get. I can only talk about my life. I have used this past year and this pandemic to realize that life is precious. I can die the minute I go outside my door. I take a risk every time I do that. I value life. I always have. Being a news reporter, being a news anchor, I deal with tragedy every day and I see it. I've done stories where 30 year old, you know, a 30 year old couple with kids have died in a house fire. They woke up that morning not knowing that would happen. So I realize life is precious. That's how I have changed. I say what I feel because I don't really care. I don't give opinions publicly because I'm a journalist. I'm all about giving information. I don't care if it's going to upset the Democrats or the Republicans or the independents. That's how I've changed as well. More so, I'm all about being unbiased, independent, giving all the information out there in everything, stories that may upset people. So I've been more dedicated in this past year. I'm also dedicated to making all of your lives better, doing what I can to inspire you, doing what I can to get the real stories out, not the government BS, not the, you know, not the lines that you hear from politicians. I'm all about just getting the real information out. So my life has changed that way. I am blessed. I have a great family. I still have a job. I am blessed. And my prayers go out to all of you who do not. We can get through this together. I love all of you. Prayers to everyone. We can make it through this. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless.